back here to the Sports Mix on Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. Nick Verzellini and Colin McLaughlin here on the show, now joined by the head coach of the Spring Mills Cardinals baseball team, Brad Barrett. Coach Barrett, how are you today? Doing well, guys. How are you guys doing? We're doing well. Uh, opening day for your team today against Martinsburg. What's the offseason been like for your team, Coach? Uh, it's been great, man. We... Uh... We've been working really hard, you know, looking forward to this day since uh, basically last last May when they knocked us out. So we're ready to go. Coach, whenever we were at the high school, I was looking over uh, during basketball season, seeing you guys practice, making a lot of noise. Seems like some good numbers as well for your program this season. Just talk about, I guess, the turnout and your expectations for this year's team. Um. High energy, man. Just resilience, being tough. Uh, we got a we got a very young group of guys. Um, I want to say about eight sophomores on the varsity roster just alone. So we're very young, but we're very uh, we're very ready to go. High energy, like I said, very, a very tough group of guys, and they're ready to go. You mentioned having a young team, coach. Who's really stood out for you so far in the off season? I mean, as far as our sophomore class, it's got to be our catcher. I mean, he's he's kind of been the rock of us. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna be the guy that kind of carries our team. But none of this would happen without our two seniors. You know, those two guys are our captains. You know, both Stan Taylor and Brandon Montgomery have kind of taken control of that leadership and pretty much taken pride in this this whole organization. Coach, you guys get the start off with Martinsburg. They played yesterday. Did you get a chance to uh, see that game and? Get any thoughts on your opponent for tonight? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I watch, I watch obviously the, the game changer and look up some clips and stuff, and we uh, follow them around a little bit. Um, you know, we're gonna go, we're gonna go at them head on. We're gonna attack and be aggressive as much as we can. But you know, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do and put runners on base, execute when we need to, and then hopefully go out with the win. Coach, you start the year like we said today against Martinsburg, but then you uh, have John Marshall for a doubleheader on Saturday and then Washington on Tuesday. There's a lot of games, obviously, early in the year. Um, how does that, do you think, help your team, you know, kind of prepare for the, the stretch of the season? Because baseball very much is, you know, a lot of games in a short period of time, and uh, you're going to really test your depth early in the season. I mean, it's all about the grind, man. We, we talk about all the time. It's like going to war, man. you you got to get prepared for it mentally and physically. You know, we're not getting a lot of days off. You know, we get about 15 days to kind of get prepared for it. And once once it hits, man, it just it, it's a blink of an eye. It's it's the longest and quickest season of the, of the season of the year. Coach, last year the season didn't go the way you guys obviously wanted to, especially in the end. Uh, how, how much though did that give your team a kind of chip on the shoulder to focus on the off season and? try to build off that season last year for a better season this year uh, yeah man it's been the it's been the fuel it's been the fuel of the fire for the entire year um you know I, I think we lost around 14 or 15 guys total between our seniors and then just kids kind of transferring out um these guys are ready man like they they want to win they want to compete they they have pride and ownership of this team and i have high hopes for them and, and i'm looking forward to see what they can do because it does seem like your team has struggled really the past two seasons to consistently be one of the the teams that can consistently compete in this tough conference. How do you take that next step with this group uh, to get to the point where you feel like your team can compete every single night against you know some of the tough teams in the EPAC? I mean, our biggest issue in the last couple of years is just producing runs, you know, getting guys on base, executing when we're supposed to, um, not giving up in middle innings. You know, things are, things like that really matter. You know, we talk about attention to detail. And we talk about little things in baseball, and all those things come down to the end. Just that's, that's the most important thing. That's the difference between, you know, three, four runs, in my opinion. Coach, let's take a uh, look now at the entire conference as a whole and get your thoughts about all of the uh, other five schools this year. I mean, it's always a battle in this area. You know, it's always it's one of those one of those tough, you know, regions in, in the entire state. You know, EPAC is always going to be one of the most difficult areas. You know, I feel like we always beat beat each other a little bit in the beginning of the year. And then, you know, you got to get better as the year progresses. If you're a team that doesn't get better, then you're going to get walked over towards the end of the year. And I feel like that's kind of how this area is. You know, I feel like we always 
start off about the same, and then towards, you know, the middle of April, like towards May, you know, that team that's kind of on a high rise is the one that usually finishes up on top. So you gotta, you got to work hard to make sure you're that, you're that team that finishes on top. Coach, when putting together your non-conference schedule, knowing that you have that tough conference schedule, what were some things you wanted to do to kind of help your team stay consistent with that level of competition? Man, we play we play everybody in the state. You know, we don't like to travel outside the state a lot. Um, I always say, in order to be the best, you got to beat the best. You know, we're going to play the best and most competitive teams in our state alone. Because um, when it comes down to the wire, you know, come June first, if you want to win that title, you know, you got to beat the teams in your own state, and you got to you know challenge yourself to go against teams like University, Hurricane, Morgantown. You know, the guys that do it all the time, and I feel like we got to compete against them. And you know, if you can beat them, you can pretty much beat anybody. We're joined by the head coach of Spring Mills Baseball, Brad Barrett. Coach Barrett, what are your goals for your team this year? Win, man. But just produce runs, you know, not give up with the other, you know, be a team, work together, be a family. Um, you know, have that mindset that, you know, it's one through seven. You know, take one pitch, one inning at a time. Just focus on, you know, executing when we need to, doing what we can to, to better ourselves and better our teammates and hold each other accountable and basically, you know, work our way to a win. And Coach, you mentioned it with that non-conference schedule, trying to take on some of the best teams in the state, but also your team, of course, participating in the Myrtle Beach Tournament this year. You guys heading down there, and, and that's always great competition, and also it's just a fun trip for the guys. So uh, what are you looking forward to? It looks like you guys got a pretty tough schedule down there as well. I mean, one, one obviously is good weather. You know, these last two weeks have just been nonstop with rain and cold weather and stuff, and it's, it's nice to go down there and, and get consistent weather at that. And then, obviously, you know, we're going to see some pretty good competition. It's always great to see the, uh, all the nice fields down there, too, just to get a different atmosphere. But, you know, all around, man, we just want to compete. We want to go someplace, play some baseball and some nice weather. You mentioned the cold and kind of wet weather, but a few times still got to see you guys out on the field before the season got underway for practice. How much did you actually get to be on the field, though, and kind of simulate as best as possible before the season begins, or was it more or less just being in either the weight room or in the gym doing drills? Um, I mean, not as much as, as i like to, but in all, in all honesty, I feel like we, we were out there probably more than most people were. Um, my, my rule is if we would play in it, we're going to practice in it. And, you know, we'll find a way out, whether it's in the outfield or – on a football turf or whatever we can do in the cage, then we're going to play outside as much as we can. You know, getting stuck in that gymnasium can kind of get to the point where it gets a little stagnant for you. So you got to focus and, you know, kind of handle that adversity and deal with it. And I think our guys have handled it very well. You know, we got guys working every day with rakes and shovels and trying to get the field the way it should be and, you know, covering with tarps when we need to. I'd say we've been up there a good amount compared to probably most of the states in the area. Coach Barrett, before we let you go, uh, let you have some final thoughts if you have any. Also have kind of just a question about your guys' facility. I know last year you were close to uh, getting a press box. I don't think it's happened yet, so just wanted to see the status of uh, those renovations for your program. Um, I mean, I, I know about as much as you, everybody else is in the area. You know, I'm I'm hoping that it happens here soon, um, but we're not going to let that dictate our season. You know, we're going to obviously focus on the game and the mindset of that. You know, if it pops up, it pops up. If not, we're going to go out there and try to win some games and do what we can.